video in the series. We just finished up on the perfect customer. And now we're going to start with five things not to do. And this is how we end up in the affiliate graveyard. Learn from others' mistakes. Do the training. Do the training. Sure, you can learn from YouTube and Google. Go to Udemy and pull a course from there for $11. But it's like my cybersecurity training. I, I go to college at the age of 52 to get the real training, to get years worth of training so that it's real. And I have gotten some of my certificates from Udemy when it came to the security analyst from CompTIA, the CYSA and the CISM for my SACA. But the well-rounded experience is going to come from real training. You're going to, you want to want to take actual training from an affiliate program if you can find one. You're going to want to take actual training from the expert in the field that you're trying to focus on. For example, I was looking into traffic. So I went with Russell Brunson's Traffic Secrets. It cost me one credit on Audible. I ended up getting two of his books from Audible because when it comes to funnels and traffic, he's the expert in that area. I've gotten coaching in business from a business manager because coaching is what I like to do. Keep doing the training no matter what. Always look two, three, four levels up. Pick out 50 people above you. And when I say above you, they're the ones that are already making the five, six, seven figures. You should have 50 of them in your Instagram, in your Facebook, in your blogging. If you do blogging, research the people that have already done it and you can model what they have done. Model meaning not copy, but if they have the same style as you, you can copy that style. Don't forget, like, share, and comment, please. What we do is we get seven affiliates together. This is another way to understand how to get things done, what to do, what not to do, because you've got six people around you already doing it and a room full of people doing it at the Facebook.com groups AF Mastermind. You can already see what people are doing. The next one is the shiny app syndrome. Everything you see, you want that doodle cartoon video maker. Uh, you, you get a list and you create a list of every single thing that you've either signed up for that has a 7, a 14, a 30-day trial. Because as you're going along, you're going to forget about the 17. You're going to forget about the 14. Next thing you know, you're paying for it. So... Your domain registration, your website with the SSL, all the different apps that are inside of it. Did, did you go for, say, Yoast SEO on, on a blog? Did you pay for that? You need to write it down. Medium, did you pay for it so that you didn't have to do a blog and it only cost you five bucks a month for Medium? Did you do that one? The video software that you bought, whether it be WeVideo, videos, uh, you name it. That gets expensive. The autoresponder, as soon as you pass 500 people on your list, it now costs money. Did you go to a PLR site so that you could get an ebook or a video or a course that you could give away as part of your process? How many different websites are you a member of? How many different apps have you bought? Et cetera, et cetera. You can spend hundreds of dollars without even knowing it if you don't keep track of it. Your ad spend. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know it says on the screen that I'm not going to tell you not to do it, but don't do it. Unless you've been doing this for months and months and months. Again, you could be that one percenter, that five percenter, 
that gets lucky on how you do this because you are good at ad copy. You are exact in how you tailored your message or you had a mentor that just gave you exactly what you needed. But if you're not one of those people, this is how you lose all your money. And again, the one way you can tell, let's say you decide to dip your toe in there and you spend, let's just say you spend $200, $300. Then you're not paying attention to the click-through rate on with the percentages. You're not opening up your list and looking at your list to say, huh, I nobody is opening up the emails that I'm sending out on the follow-ups. And then when I do a broadcast, I'm not getting anybody to open up those either. And the next thing you know, it's hurting my list reputation. And that list reputation is now sending stuff to the junk mail instead of the inbox. And this is because you didn't have the correct long tail keyword in your ad, let's say, and you were getting people that didn't actually want what you were offering, but it was so vague that they signed up for it anyway with an address that they're never going to open. Take the time to build out your brand in Twitter and Instagram. Those are the two hottest things right now in 2020 is your Instagram reels and your TikTok. You can't go wrong with those two. Still got your YouTube and there you go. You have three videos right there. You make one video and then two shorter ones. You have your Facebook. If you do a blog or you do medium and Twitter all free if you do it correctly. Build your brand. Too many products. A beginner should start with one product. One product, put 100% of your effort into it. Unless you have a product that actually caters to another product. So let's say as part of your funnel, you have a product and you have an upsell. Or you have a product and you have a complementary product that's a sister product. Both of those products will help, but let's make sure that the product you're selling completely solves the issue. The secondary product is just a nice to have. How many websites do you wanna build? How many funnels do you wanna maintain? Because don't forget, almost everybody out there, your first funnel will fail, you have to play with it it's a never-ending campaign to tweak your funnel until it's working so that for example i have google analytics that watches my funnel and google analytics will tell me how they went through the funnel where did they get to etc cetera, etc cetera. it's no different than your list you should be watching your funnel. You should be watching your list. You should be watching how many products. All of this ties together. You should be putting 100% focus on the one product that will solve that one issue. Everything else, the I guess the ebook, if you want to call it, should just be a giveaway to get people to that product that you sell. If you if you're building three websites and three funnels and have three different markets and three different types of people that you're trying to market to, good luck with that. Stop doing everything yourself. I believe that's the last one and it's the biggest one. Make a list of everything that you are good at. Everything that's not on that list, don't do it. Don't do it. Now, if there is something you've always wanted to do, then sure, go ahead with that one. If you want to know how to do videos and you want to make that your new passion, then add that to your list of things that you're going to be good at doing. 
but for five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars fifty dollars you can go to upsell or fiverr or there's quite a few others and get somebody to do it for you and why should you spend two weeks of your time working on something that is not a revenue generating act when you could be working on revenue generating activities this isn't part of it but i have this in every single one of my videos and this could be a reason that this is a thing that you should do and what you shouldn't do is ad hoc you should not be doing ad hoc marketing this is a business you should have <coughs> excuse me you should have your goals set out i still have 26 more videos to do that i have in the queue and when i say in the queue i mean i've got a spreadsheet with 26 different videos i'm going to be making and every day I move them around, I'll add a few, take out a few, depending on what's going on. The next video is going to be on blog syndication and the different types of blogs and how to do a blog video funnel and push people through a funnel on your website using three or four videos. I'll throw that out tomorrow, day after tomorrow. But if you look here, this is my this is my plan i added instagram because i pulled instagram into part of the products in. so i use this i pop what i'm going to do in here so tomorrow will be blogs and i will make start at the top and work my way across work my way across work my way down have a plan and last but not least if you're truly interested in beginning your career working for yourself question for you if you're where if you're working paycheck to paycheck and all you have is a salary you are one shutdown away from what and that shutdown's coming come january many places governors are already speaking up you want help come see us it's what we do Thanks, everybody.